Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sam and I'm a third year medical student from the Philippines. And for today's video, I will be sharing with you my realizations as a third year medical student so i will be sharing the things that i've learned throughout the three years that i'm studying medicine so this video is helpful for those planning to proceed to med school and they would like to know what to expect in med school and also give them an overview on what they should know or the realities of med school so if you're interested please keep on watching so for my first realization, you don't have to be the smartest one in your class, you just have to be diligent. So if you're a pre-med right now and you're thinking that you're not that smart enough to enter med school and you're having doubts if you should proceed to med school or not, well, trust me, you don't have to be the smartest one. Because to become a doctor, you need to be committed to lifelong learning because learning just never stops. Because at some point, being smart is just not enough. You need to love what you're doing, you need to be committed, you need to ask yourself if that's what you really want because to become a doctor is no joke. You should ask yourself if this is what you really want because at the end of the day, you'll get tired, you'll get burnt out. So you have to remind yourself of why you really started so if you're looking for a sign to decide whether or not you will proceed this is it this is the sign you don't have to be the smartest one trust me so for my second realization is that med school is not a competition you don't need to survive it alone you have to have good friends and you help each other survive i've already given you an overview that med school is not easy and for you to overcome it you have to have a solid foundation or a good set of people around you people that will mot motivate you during the times that you feel like you can't do it or you're too tired to study again people that will help you understand the lessons in med school we all have different pre-meds right so in med school you shouldn't try to compete with other students or like try to prove that your pre-med is the best pre-med or try to excel because you think that your pre-med is the best treatment so what you should do is that you should help each other for example i'm a pharma student and i kind of have an advantage in pharma and a lot of students are struggling in pharma i'm not saying that i'm not struggling in pharma but pharma in med school is just hard if i kind of think that i have an advantage i should help those students who struggle understanding the lessons in pharmacology for other students also who excel in other subjects like med tech subjects then in turn, they also help us, the non medic students, to understand the, some concepts that we often find it hard or difficult to understand. So that's why you shouldn't compete with each other. Instead, you help one another. Because at the end of the day, trust me, if you started like 100 students in one batch during your first year, trust me, it will be 50 at the end of like fourth year because some students would fail or some students would drop out because they realized that it isn't what they really want and you just don't want to regret na you didn't do anything to help those who failed like especially if they're your friends so help each other out. so for my third realization is your pre-med won't define you for me there's no such thing as best pre-med that's why you shouldn't contemplate that much on what pre-med you will choose because at the end of the day some pre-med would have its advantages and some pre-med would have its disadvantages that's why i told in my second realization that you need to help each other out so if you're a high school student right now and you're thinking on what you should take then ask yourself on what profession do you see yourself or on what profession do you see yourself enjoying learning I actually didn't expect that I would have fun in pharma, but I did. So just choose a pre-med that you would think you would enjoy and just learn it as much as you can so that when you proceed to med school and you encounter a certain subject that's exactly your pre-med, then use it to your advantage. Not only to help yourself, but also to help others who struggle on that certain subject. So before I proceed to my fourth realization, I would just like to introduce a sponsor for today's video which is Medical School Companion. So this is a guide through medical school and the step exam. So if you're a med student right now and you're planning to work abroad, for example the United States, then one of the exams that is needed in order to work there is to pass the USMLE. So through Medical School Companion, they offer an online course to review for that certain exam. We have here all the benefits if you become a member 
number. So what I would want to highlight is the individualized online coaching. So the good thing about this is that they cater or adjust to your own liking. The way they teach is not generalized but rather um, it is really individualized. They would want to listen to your on how you want to review so they will adjust it for you. And it also includes a world-class specialized faculty so you can really guarantee that the people that are lecturing are qualified lecturers. For the online coaching, they have a flexible scheduling, and the best tutors, with proven results, and there is also a personalized study program. So if you're interested, you may visit them at medicalschoolcompanion.org and also on January 25, they will be having or starting an eight-week USMLE Step 1 review course. So if you're interested, I'm just gonna link their website in the description box. And I would like to thank Medical School Companion for sponsoring today's video. So for my fourth realization is to take care of yourself and avoid burnouts. I'm not gonna lie, but med school is really tiring. Or maybe tiring is an understatement because it's exhausting and it will eat you alive. But the important thing is you need to learn how to take care of yourself. Um, it's good that you can focus on your studying for days, but after studying for hours, you need to take a break, have a breather, and then do something aside from studying because at some point you will experience burnout and when that happens it will be hard to go back again rise up and force yourself to study up after experiencing that so as much as possible you want to avoid that at the end of the day you should always remember that before you study to take care of other people learn to take care of yourself first so for the fifth one being a medical student is not a personality so don't make it your life though it is a lifelong commitment but from the process of being a doctor do not make it the only thing that you do in life for example if you have well me I tried to venture into vlogging or making my own YouTube channel and sharing my journey to you. They say that when you're in med school, you don't have time to do other things. But the thing is, you still have time to do other things. Like, I have some friends or medical student friends who also have their own businesses while studying. Don't let med school take up most of your life or what you do in life try as much as possible to learn and experience some new things because although it is a lifelong learning don't make it your life it's just sad if you dedicate your whole life into just studying and you refuse to experience what life offers while you're young as much as possible try to venture to other stuff like learn a new skill and all and not just studying but of course you need to balance it that's why time management is key so for the sixth one getting a high grade is just a cherry on top learning and understanding the lectures by heart count the most i know some students are like grade conscious and they focus more on achieving high grades rather than learning and there are also students who concentrate more on learning but it doesn't necessarily mean that they have the highest grades those are the two are just one of the type of med students that you will encounter in med school at the end of the day although your grades will help you, but it won't define you as a doctor. In the future, if you'll encounter patients, your patient will never ask you what your grade on this subject is. But they will most likely praise you if you can manage them well or you're a good doctor. Like aside from the theoretical, like you also need to be empathetic. Like you need to show empathy to your patients. You need to be a good doctor, not just a smart doctor. Always remember that. So that's why if you're in med school and don't pressure yourself too much to get the highest grades. I'm not saying that you shouldn't aim for a high grade but I'm just saying that if you get to learn the lesson and understand it by heart then getting a high grade is just a cherry on top. And lastly for my seventh tip, be confident. Trust in yourself and put your faith in God. I cannot stress this enough but my faith worked wonders. So during my first year, I was struggling in anatomy to the point that I'm worried that I might fail anatomy. But then 
I prayed to God like super super prayed I prayed like never before because I didn't want to fail a subject during my first year and anatomy is just that one subject that I struggle the most maybe PT students can't relate but for me anatomy is hard but guess what I didn't fail any subject during my first year I thank God for that because I know that um, my faith really helped me survive that so always pray med school is hard but it's even harder to survive it without relying on God praying asking for wisdom and knowledge every day to understand the lessons so just be confident on yourself be confident on your faith and be confident that you put all of your best efforts to study and learn that certain subject or all the subjects in med school. so that's it for today's video i hope you learned a thing or two and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also if you want to see more videos please do subscribe to my channel and see you on my next one bye